water names UPEC name water systematic UPEC name oxidate identifiers SAS number 7732-18-5 ECA info card 100.028.902 PubChem CID 962 CompTOX dashboard EPA DTX SID 6026296 Properties Chemical formula H2O Molar mass 18.015 G mole minus 1 Appearance Nearly colorless liquid or nearly colorless solid Blue if looked through thick layers of water Or colorless gas Density Liquid 0.9998396 G Slash Milliliter at 0 degrees Celsius 0.999972 at 4 degrees Celsius max 0.9970474 g slash ml at 25 degrees celsius solid 0.9167 g slash ml at 0 celsius melting point 0 celsius 32 fahrenheit 273.15 kelvin boiling point 99.98 celsius 211.96 Fahrenheit 373.13 Kelvin Supplementary data page Water data page Except where otherwise noted, data are given for materials in their standard state at 25 degrees Celsius, 77 Fahrenheit, 100 kPa Infobox references Water is an inorganic compound with the chemical formula H2O. It is a transparent, tasteless, odorless and nearly colorless chemical substance, and it is the main constituent of Earth's hydrosphere, and the fluids of all known living organisms in which it acts as a solvent. It is volatile for all known forms of life, despite not providing food, energy or organic micronutrients. Its chemical formula, H2O, indicates that each of its molecules contains one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms, connected by covalent bonds. The hydrogen atoms are attached to the oxygen atom at an angle of 104.45 degrees. Water is also the same name of the liquid state of H2O at standard temperature and pressure. Because Earth's environment is relatively close to water's tripping point, water exists on Earth as a solid, liquid and gas. It forms precipitation and the form of rain and aerosols in the form of fog clouds consists of suspended droplets of water and ice. Its solid state, when finely divided, crystalline ice may precipitate in the form of snow. The gaseous state of water is steam or water vapor. Water covers about 71% of the Earth's surface, with seas and oceans making up most of the water's volume on Earth, about 96.5%. Small portions of water occur as groundwater, 1.7%, in the glaciers and the ice caps of Antarctica and Greenland, 1.7% and in the air as vapor, clouds consisting of ice and liquid water suspended in air, and precipitation 0.001%. Water moves continually through the water cycle of evaporation, transpiration, evapotranspiration, condensation, precipitation, and runoff, usually reaching the sea. Water plays an important role in the world economy. Approximately 70% of the freshwater used by humans goes to agriculture. Fishing in salt and freshwater bodies has been, and continues to be, a major source of food for many parts of the world, providing 6.5% of global protein. Much of the long-distance trade of commodities such as oil, natural gas and manufacturing projects is transferred by boats, seas, rivers,
lakes and canals. Large quantities of water, ice and steam are used for cooling and heating in industry and homes. Water is an excellent solvent for a wide variety of substances, both mineral and organic. As such, it is widely used in uh, industrial processes and in cooking and washing. Water, ice and snow are also central to many sports and other forms of entertainment such as swimming, pleasure boating, boat racing, surfing, sport fishing, diving, ice skating and skiing. Etymology The word water comes from Old English Wetter from Proto-Germanic water, salt source also of Old Saxon Wetter, Old Frisian Wetter, Dutch water, Old High German Wasser, German Wasser, Watten, Gothic Watto from Proto-Indo-European water, suffix from form of root wed water wet, also cognate through the Indo-European root with Greek Hydor from Ancient Greek Hydor. Whence English Hydro, Russian Voda, Irish Uis, and Albanian Uj. History. Main articles. Origin of water on earth. History of water on earth. And properties of water. History. Properties. Main article. Properties of water. See also water data page and water model. Water H2O is a polar inorganic compound. At room temperature it is a tasteless and odorless liquid nearly colorless with a hint of blue. This simplest hydrogen calcogenide is by far the most studied chemical compound and is described as the universal solvent for its ab ability to dissolve many substances. This allows it to be the solvent of life. Indeed, water as found in nature almost always includes various dissolved substances and special steps are required to obtain chemically pure water. Water is the only common substance to exist as a solid, liquid and gas in normal terrestrial conditions. States Along with oxidane, water is one of the two official names for the chemical compound H2O. It is also the liquid phase of H2O. The other two common states of matter of water are the solid phase, ice, and the gaseous phase, water vapor or steam. The addition or removal of heat can cause phase transitions, freezing, water to ice, melting, ice to water, vaporization, water to vapor, condensation, vapor to water, sublimation, ice to vapor, and deposition, vapor to ice. Density. See also frost weathering. Water differs from most liquids in that it becomes less dense as it freezes. In one ATM pressure, it reaches its maximum density of 999.972 kg slash meter free, or 62.4262 pounds per cubic feet. At 3.98 Celsius, or 39.16 Fahrenheit, or almost 1,000 kilograms per square meter or 62.43 pounds per cubic feet at almost 4 degrees Celsius or 39 Fahrenheit. The density of ice is 917 kilograms per square meter or 57.25 pounds per cubic feet, an expansion of 9%. This expansion can exert enormous pressure, bursting pipes and cracking rocks. In a lake or ocean, water at 4 degrees Celsius 49 degrees Fahrenheit, sinks to the bottom, and ice forms on the surface, floating on the liquid water. This ice insultates the water below, preventing it from freezing solid. Without this protection, most aquatic organisms residing in lakes would perish during the winter. Magnetism Water is a diamagnetic material. Though interaction is weak, with superconducting magnets it can attain a notable interaction. Phase transitions. 
At a pressure of 1 atmosphere ATM, ice melts or water freezes solidifies at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit and water boils or vapor condenses at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit. However, even below the boiling point, water can change the vapor at its surface by evaporation. Vaporization through the liquid is known as boiling. Sublimation and deposition also occur on surfaces. For example, frost is deposited on cold surfaces while snowflakes form by deposition on an aerosol particle or ice nucleus. In the process of freeze drying, a food is frozen and then stored at low pressure so the ice on its surface sublimates. The melting and boiling points depend on pressure. A good approximation for the rate of change of the melting temperature with pressure is given by the clausius clapeyron relation. dt over dp equals T parentheses, VL minus VS closing parentheses, over LF, where VL and VS are the molar volumes of the liquid and solid phases, and LF is the molar latent heat of melting. In most substances, the volume increases when melting occurs, so the melting temperature increased with pressure. However, because ice is less dense than water, the melting temperature decreases. In glaciers, pressure melting can occur under sufficiently thick volumes of ice, resulting in subglacial lakes. The clausius clapeyron relation also applies to the boiling point, but with the liquid gas transition, the vapor phase has a much lower density than the liquid phase, so the boiling point increases with pressure. Water can remain in a liquid state at high temperatures in the deep ocean or underground. For example, temperature exceed 205 Celsius or 401 Fahrenheit in Old Faithful, a geyser in Yellowstone National Park. In hydrothermal vents, the temperature can exceed 400 degrees Celsius or 752 Fahrenheit. At sea level, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit. As atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude, the boiling point decreases by 1 Celsius every 274 meters. High altitude cooking takes longer than sea level cooking. For example, at 1 1524 meters or 5000 feet, cooking time must be increased by a fourth to achieve the desired result. Conversely, a pressure cooker can be used to decrease cooking times by raising the boiling temperature. In a vacuum, water will boil at room temperature. Triple and critical points. On a pressure slash temperature phase diagram, see figure, there are curves separating solid from vapor vapor from liquid and liquid from solid. These meet at a single point called the triple point, where all three phases can coexist. The triple point is a temperature of 273.16 Kelvin or 0.01 Celsius or 32.02 Fahrenheit and a pressure of 611.657 Pascals 0.00604 atom 0.0887 psi. It is the lowest pressure at which liquid water can exist. Until 2019, the triple point was used to define the Kelvin temperature scale. The water vapor phase curve terminates at 647.096 Kelvin, 373.946 Celsius, 705.103 Fahrenheit, and 22.064 megapascals. 3200.1 psi or 270.75 atom. This is known as the critical point. At higher temperatures and pressures, the liquid and vapor phases form a continuous phase called a supercritical fluid. It can be gradually compressed or expanded between gas light and liquid light densities. Its properties, which are quite different from those of ambient water, are sensitive to density. For example, for suitable pressures and temperatures, it can mix freely with nonpolar compounds, including most organic compounds. This makes it uh, useful in a variety of applications, including high temperature electrochemistry and as an ecologically benign solvent or catalyst in chemical reaction involving organic compounds. In Earth's mantle, it acts as a solvent during mineral formation, dissolution, and deposition. 
phases of ice and water. Main article, ice. The normal form of ice on the surface of Earth is ice, uh, a phase that forms crystals with hexagonal symmetry. Another with cubic crystalline symmetry, ice, uh, can occur in the upper atmosphere. As the pressure increases, ice forms other crystal structures. As of 2019, 17 have been experimentally confirmed and several more are predicted, theoretically, see ice. The 18th form of ice, ice 18, a face centered cubic, superionic ice face, was discovered when a droplet of water was subject to a shockwave that raised the water's pressure to millions of atmospheres and its temperature to thousands of degrees, resulting in a structure of rigid oxygen atoms in which hydrogen atoms flowed freely. When sandwiched between layers of graphene, ice forms a square lattice. The details of the chemical nature of liquid water are not well understood. Some theories suggest that its, its unusual behavior is due to the existence of two liquid states. Taste and odor. Pure water is usually described as tasteless and odorless. Although humans have specific sensors that can feel the presence of water in their mouths, and frogs are known to be able to smell it. However, water from ordinary sources, including bottled mineral water, usually has many dissolved substances that may give it varying tastes and its odor. Humans and other animals have developed senses that enable them to evaluate the potability of water in order to avoid water that is too salty or putrid. Color and appearance. Mean article, color of water. See also, Electromagnetic absorption by water. Pure water is visibly blue due to absorption of light in the region circa 600 to 800 nm. The color can be easily observed in a glass of tap water placed against a pure white background in daylight. The principal absorption bands responsible for a color of overtones of the OH stretching vibrations. The apparent intensity of the color increases with the depth of the water column, following Beer's law. This also applies, for example, with a swimming pool when the light source is sunlight reflected from the pool's white tiles. In nature, the color may also be modified from blue to green due to the presence of suspended solids or algae. In industry, near infrared spectroscopy is used with aqueous solutions as the greater intensity of the lower overtones of water it means that glass cuvettes with short path lengths may be employed. To observe the fundamental stretching absorption spectrum of water or of an aqueous solution in the region around 3500 cm, 2.85 a path length of about 25 is needed. Also, the cuvette must be both transparent around 3500 cm and insoluble in water. Calcium fluoride is one material that is in common use for the cuvette windows with aqueous solutions. The Raman active fundamental vibrations may be observed with, for example, a 1 cm sample cell. Aquatic plants Algae and other photosynthetic organisms can live in water up to hundreds of meters deep because sunlight can reach them. Practically, no sunlight reaches the parts of the oceans below a thousand meters or 3.3300 3, feet of depth. The refractive index of liquid water, 1.333 at 20 degrees Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit, is much higher than that of air, 1.0 similar to those of alkanes and ethanol, but lower than those of glycerol, 1.473, benzene, 1.501, carbon disulfide, 1.627, and common types of glass, 1.42-1.6. The refraction index of ice, 1.31, is lower than that, li that of liquid water. Molecular polarity. In a water molecule, the hydrogen atoms form a 104.5 degree angle with the oxygen atom. The hydrogen atoms are close to two corners of a tetrahedron centered on the oxygen. At the other two corners are lone pairs of valence, electrons that do not participate in the bonding. 
In a perfect tetrahedron, the atoms would form a 109.5 degree angle, but the repulsion between the lone pairs is greater than the repulsion between the hydrogen atoms. The OH bond length is about 0.096 nanometers. Other substances have a tetrahedral molecular structure, for example methane CH4, and hydrogen sulfide H2S. However, oxygen is more electronegative than most other elements, so the oxygen atom retains a negative charge while the hydrogen atoms are positively charged, along with the bed structure. This gives the molecule an electrical dipole moment, and it is classified as a polar molecule. Water is a good polar solvent, dissolving many salts and hydrophilic organic molecules such as su sugars and simple alcohols such as ethanol. Water also dissolves many gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide, the latter giving the fizz of carbonated beverages, sparkling wines and beers. In addition, many substances in living organisms such as proteins, DNA and polysaccharides are dissolved in water. The interactions between water and the subunits of these biomicromolecules shape protein folding, DNA-based pairing, and other phenomena crucial to life, hydrophobic effect. Many organic substances, such as fats and oils and alkanes, are hydrophobic, that is, insoluble in water. Many inorganic substances are insoluble too, including most metal oxides, sulfides, and silicates. Hydrogen bonding See also chemical bonding of water. Because of its polarity, a molecule of water in the liquid or solid state can form up to four hydrogen bonds with neighboring molecules. Hydrogen bonds are about 10 times as strong as the van der Waals force that attracts molecules to each other in most liquids. This is the reason why the melting and boiling points of water are much higher than those of other analogous compounds, such as high hydrogen sulfide. They also explain its exceptionally high specific heat capacity, about 4.2 J slash K slash K. Heat of fusion, about 333 J slash G. Heat of vaporization, 2257 G slash G and thermal conductivity between 0.561 and 0.679 W slash M slash K. These properties make water more effective at moderating Earth's climate by storing heat and transporting it between the oceans and the atmosphere. The hydrogen bonds of water are around 33 kJ slash mol, compared to a covalent OH bond at 492 kJ slash mol. Of this, it is estimated that 90% is attributable to electrostatics, while the remaining 10% is partially covalent. These bonds are the cause of water's high surface tension and capillary forces. The capillary action refers to the tendency of water to move up a narrow tube against the force of gravity. This property is relied upon by all vascular plants such as trees. Self-ionization, main article, self-ionization of water. Water is a weak solution to hydronium hydroxide. There is an equilibrium 2H2O to H3O plus plus OH in combination with solvation of the resulting hydronium ions. Electrical conductivity and electrosis. Pure water has a low electrical conductivity, which increases with the dissolution of a small amount of ionic material, such as common salt. Liquid water can be split into the elements hydrogen and oxygen by passing an electric current through it, a process called electrolysis. Decomposition requires more energy input than the heat released by the inverse process, 285.8 kg slash mole, or 15.9 mj slash kilogram. Mechanical properties. Liquid water can be assumed to be the be incompressible for most purposes. Its compressibility ranges from 4.4 4 to 5.1 times 10 minus 10 p pa minus 1 in ordinary conditions. Even in the oceans at 4 km depth, where the pressure is 400 atm, water suffers only a 1.8% decrease in volume. 
the viscosity of water is about 10 minus 3 PAs or 0.01 poise at 20 degrees Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit. And the speed of sound in liquid water ranges between 1400 and 1540 meters per second, 4600 and 5100 feet six second. Depending on temperature, sound travels long distance in water with little attenuation, especially at low frequencies, roughly 0.03 decibels slash kilometer for one kilohertz a property that is exploited by cytoxines and humans for communications and environment sensing sonar reactivity metallic elements which are more electropositive than hydrogen particularly the alkali metals and alkaline earth metals such as lithium sodium calcium potassium and cesium displace hydrogen from water forming hydroxides and releasing hydrogen at high temperatures, carbon reacts with steam to form carbon monoxide and hydrogen. On Earth Main articles Hydrology and water distribution on Earth Hydrology is the study of the movement, distribution and quality of water throughout the Earth. The study of the distribution of water is hydrography. The study of the distribution and movement of groundwater is hydrogeology, of glaciers is glaciology, of inland waters is limnology, and distribution of oceans is oceanography. Ecological processes with hydrology are in the focus of eco-hydrology. The collective mass of water found on, under and over the surface of a planet is called the hydrosphere. Earth's approximate water volume, the total water supply of the world, is 1.386 billion cubic kilometers or 333 million cubic miles. Liquid water is found in bodies of water, such as ocean, sea, lake, river, steam, canal, pond or puddle. The majority of water on Earth is seawater. Water is also present in the atmosphere in solid, liquid and vapor states. It also exists as groundwater in aquifers. Aquifers. Water is important in many geological processes. Groundwater is present in most rocks, and the pressure of this groundwater affects patterns of faulting. Water in the mantle is responsible for the melt that produces volcanoes at subduction zones. On the surface of the earth, water is important in both chemical and physical weathering processes. Water, and to a lesser but still significant extent, ice are also responsible for a large amount of sediment transport that occurs on the surface of the earth. The position of transported sediment forms many types of sedimentary rocks which make up the geologic record of earth history. Water cycle Main article Water cycle The water cycle, known scientifically as the hydraulic cycle, is the continuous exchange of water within the hydrosphere between the atmosphere, soil water, surface water, groundwater, and plants. Water moves perpetually through each of these regions in the water cycle, consisting of the following transfer processor evaporation from oceans and other water bodies into the air, and trans transpiration from land plants and animals into the air, precipitation from water vapor condensing from the air and falling to the earth or ocean, runoff of the land usually reaching the sea. Most water vapors found mostly in the ocean returns to it, but winds carry water vapor over land at the same rate, as runoff into the sea. About 47 tt per year whilst evaporation and transpiration happening in land masses also contribute another 72 tt per year. Precipitation at a rate of 119 tt per year over land has several forms, most commonly rain, snow and hail, with some contribution from fog and dew. Dew is small drops of water that are condensed when a high density of water vapor meets a cool surface. Dew usually forms in the morning when the temperature is the lowest, just before sunrise and when the temperature of the earth's surface starts to increase. Condensed water in the air may also refract sunlight to produce rainbows. Water runoff often collects over watersheds, flowing into rivers. Through erosion, 
Runoff shapes the environment, creating river valleys and deltas which provide rich soil and level ground for the establishment of population centers. A flood occurs when an area of land, usually low-lying, is covered with water, which occurs when a river overflows its banks or a storm surge happens. On the other hand, drought is an extended period of months or years when a region notes a deficiency in its water supply. This occurs when the region receives constant consistently below average precipitation, either due to its topography or due to its location in terms of latitude. Water Resources Main Article of Water Resources Water resources are natural resources of water that are potentially useful for human, for example as a source of drinking water supply or irrigation water. Water occurs both stocks and flows. Water can be stored as lakes, water vapor, groundwater or aquifers, and ice and snow. Of the total volume of global freshwater, an estimated 69% is stored in glaciers and permanent snow cover. 30% is in groundwater and remaining 1% in lakes, rivers, the atmosphere and biota. The length of time water remains in storage is highly variable. Some aquifers consist of water stored over thousands of years, but lake volumes may fluctuate on a seasonal basis, decreasing during dry periods and increasing during wet worlds. A substantial fraction of the water supply for some region consists of water extracted from water stored in stocks, and when withdrawals exceed recharge, stocks decrease. By some estimates, as much as 40% of total water used for irrigation comes from unsustainable withdrawals of groundwater, causing groundwater depletion. Seawater and Tides Main article, Seawater and Tides Seawater contains about 3.5% so sodium chloride, on average, plus smaller amounts of other substances. The physical properties of seawater differ from freshwater in some important respects. It freezes at a lower temperature, about minus 1.9 Celsius or 28.6 Fahrenheit, and its density increases with decreasing temperature to the freezing point, instead of re reaching maximum density at a temperature above freezing. The salinity of water in major seas varies from about 0.7% in the Baltic Sea to 4.0% in the Red Sea, the Dead Sea, known for its ultra-high salinity levels of between 30 and 40% 40 is really a salt lake. Tides are the cyclic rising and falling of local sea levels, caused by the tidal forces of the moon and the sun acting on the oceans. Tides cause changes in the depth of the marine and estuarine water bodies and produce oscillating currents known as tidal streams. The changing tide produced at a given location is the result of the changing positions of the moon and sun relative to the earth, coupled with the effects of earth rotation, and the local bathymetry, the strip of seashore that is submerged at high tide and exposed at low tide, the intertidal zone, as an important ecological project, product of ocean tides. Effects on life from a biological standpoint, water has many distinct properties that are critical for the proliferation of life. It carries out its role by allowing organic compounds to react in ways that ultimately allow replication. All known forms of life depend on water. Water is vital both as a solvent in which many of the body solutes dissolve and as an essential part of many metabolic processes within the body. Metabolism is the son of total anabolism and catabolism. In anabolism, water is removed from molecules for energy requiring enzymatic chemical reactions in order to grow larger molecules, e.g. starches, triglycerides and proteins for storage of fuels and information. In catabolism, water is used to break bonds or to generate smaller molecules, e.g. glucose, fatty acids and amino acids to be used for fuels or energy use or other purposes. Without water, these particular metabolic processes could not exist. Water is a fundamental to photosynthesis and respiration. Photosynthetic cells use the sun's energy to split up water's hydrogen from oxygen. Hydrogen is combined with CO2 absorbed from air to water to form glucose and release oxygen. All living cells use such fuels and oxidize the hydrogen and carbon to capture the sun's energy and reform water and CO2 in the process. Cellular respiration. 
motor is also to acidic phase neutrality and enzyme function. An acid, a hydrogen ion, H+, that is a proton donor, can be neutralized by a base. A proton acceptor such as hydroxide ion, OH, to form water. Water is considered to be neutral, with pH, the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, of 7. Acids have pH values less than 7, while bases have values greater than 7. Aquatic life forms For their information, hydrobiology, marine life and aquatic plants. Earth's surface waters are filled with life. The earliest life forms appeared in water. Nearly all fish live exclusively in water, and there are many types of marine mammals such as dolphins and whales. Some kinds of animals, such as amphibians, spend portions of their lives in water and portions on land. Plants, such as kelp and algae, grow in the water and are bases for some underwater ecosystems. Plankton is generally the foundation of the ocean food chain. Aquatic vertebrates rates, must obtain oxygen to survive, and they do so in various ways. Fish have gills instead of lungs, although some species of fish, such as the lungfish, have both. Marine mammals, such as dolphins, whales, otters and seals, need to surface periodically to breathe air. Some amphibians are able to absorb oxygen through their skin. Invertebrates exhibit a wide range of modification to survive in a poorly oxygenated waters, including breathing tubes, see insects and mollusks, siphons, and gills. Carcness. However, as invertebrate life evolved in an aquatic habitat, most have little to no specialization for respiration in water. Effects on human civilization. Civilization has historically flourished around the rivers and major waterways. Mesopotamia, one of the so-called cradles of civilization, was situated between the major rivers Tigris and Euphrates. The ancient society of the Egyptians depended entirely upon the Nile. The early Indus Valley Civilization, c. 3300 BCE to c. 1400 BCE, were developed along the Indus River and tributaries that flowed out of the Himalayas, Rome, was also founded on the banks of the Italian river Tiber. Large metropolises like Rotterdam, London, Montreal, Paris, New York City, Buenos Aires, Shanghai, Tokyo, Chicago and Hong Kong owed their success in part to their easy accessibility via water and the resultant expansion of trade. Islands with safe water ports like Singapore have flourished for the same reason. In places such as North Africa and the Middle East, where water is more scarce, access to clean drinking water was and is a major factor in human development. Health and Pollution Water fit for human consumption is called drinking water or potable water. Water that is not potable may be made potable by filtrations or distillation, or by a range of other methods. More than 660 million people do not ac have access to safe drinking water. Water that is not fit for drinking, but is not harmful to humans when used for swimming or paving, is called by various names, other than potable or drinking water, and is some kind called safe water or safe for bathing. Chlorine is a skin and muscular membrane irritant that is used to make water safe for bathing or drinking. Its use is highly technical and is usually monitored by government regulations, typically par 1 part per million ppm for drinking water and 1 to 2 parts per million of chlorine not yet reacted with impurities for bathing water. Water for bathing may be maintained in satisfactory microbiology condition using chemical disinfectants such as chlorine or ozone or by the use of ultraviolet light. Water reclamation is the process of converting wastewater, most commonly sewage, also called municipal wastewater, into water that can be used, reused for other purposes. There are 2.3 billion people who reside in a nation with water scarcities which means that each individual receives less than 1700 cubic meters or 60,000 cubic feet of water annually. 
380 billion cubic meters, 14 times 20, 10 up in 12 cubic feet, of municipal wastewater are produced globally each year. year. Freshwater is a renewable source circulated by the na natural hydraulic, hydrologic cycle, but precious over access to it results from the neutrally uneven distribution in space and time, growing economic demands by average culture and industry, and rising populations. Currently, nearly a billion people around the world lack access to safe, affordable water. In 2000, the United Nations established the Millennium Development Goals for water to have, by 2015, the proportion of people worldwide without access to safe water and sanitation. Progress toward that goal was uneven, and in 2015, the UN committed to the Sustainable Development Goals of achieving universal access to safe and affordable water by sanitation by 2030. Poor water quality and bad sanitation are deadly. Some 5 million deaths a year are caused by water-related diseases. The World Health Organization estimated that safe water could prevent 1.4 million child deaths from diarrhea each year. In developing countries, 90% of all municipal wastewater still goes untreated into local rivers and streams. Some 50 countries with probably a third of the world's population also suffer from the medium or high water scarcity, and 17 of these extract more water annually than is recharged through their natural water cycles. The strain not only affects surface freshwater bodies like rivers and lakes, but it also degrades groundwater resources. Human uses, further information, water supply. Agriculture. The most substantial human use of water is for agriculture, including irrigated agriculture, which accounts for as much as 80 to 90% of total human water consumption in the United States. 42% of fresh water withdrawn for use is for irrigation, but the vast majority of water consumed used and not returned to the environment goes to agriculture. Access to fresh water is often taken for granted, especially in developed countries that have built sophisticated water systems for collecting, purifying and delivering water and removing wastewater. But growing economic, demographic and climatic pressures are increasing concerns about water issues, leading to increasing competition for fixed water resources, giving rise to the concept of peak water. As populations and economies continue to grow, conceptions of water first to meet expands, and new demands rise for biofuels, biofuels or new water intensive industries. New water challenges are likely. An assessment of water managing, management in agriculture was conducted in 2007 by the International Water Management Institute in Sri Lanka to see if the world had sufficient water to provide food for its growing population. It assessed the current availability of water for agriculture on a global scale and mapped out locations suffering from water scarcity. It found that a fifth of the world's people, more than 1.2 billion, live in areas of fiscal water scarcity, where there is not enough water to meet all demands. A further 1.6 billion live in areas experiencing economic water scarcity, where the lack of investment in water or insufficient human capacity make it impossible for authorities to satisfy the demand for water. The report found that it would be possible to produce the food required in the future, but that the continuation of today's food production and environmental trends would lead to crisis in many parts of the world. To avoid a global water crisis, farmers will have to strive to increase productivity to meet growing demands for food, while industries and cities find ways to use water more efficiently. Water scarcity is also caused by production of water-intensive products, for example, cotton. One kilogram of cotton, equivalent of a pair of jeans, requires 10.9 cubic meters or 380 cubic feet water to produce, while cotton accounts for 2.4 percent of world water use, the water is consumed in regions that are already at a risk of water shortage. Significant environmental damage has been caused, for example, the diversion of water in the former Soviet Union from the Amudaya and Surdaya rivers to produce cotton was largely responsible of the disappearance of the Aral Sea. 
as the scientific standard. On 7th April 1795, the gram was defined in France to be equal to the absolute weight of a volume of pure water equal to a cube of 100 of a meter and at the temperature of melting ice. For practical purposes though, a metallic reference standard was required and a thousand times more massive the kilogram. Work was therefore commissioned to determine precisely the mass of one liter of water, in spite of the fact that the definition of the gram specified water at 0 degrees 32 Fahrenheit, a high reproducible temperature. The scientists chose to redefine the standard and to perform their measurements at a temperature of highest water density, which was measured at the time as 4 degrees Celsius or 49 degrees Fahrenheit. The Kelvin temperature scale of the SI system was based on a triple point of water, defined as exactly 273.16 Kelvin or 0.01 Celsius or 32.02 Fahrenheit. But as of May 2019, it's based on the Boltzmann constant instead. The scale is an absolute temperature scale, with the same increment as the Celsius temperature scale, which was originally defined according to the boiling point set to 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, a melting point set to 0 degrees Celsius and 42 degrees Fahrenheit of water. Natural water consists mainly of the isotopes hydrogen 1 and oxygen 16, but there is also a small quantity of heavier isotopes, oxygen 18, oxygen 17 and hydrogen 2 due to rheum. The percentage of the heavier isotopes is very small, but it still affects the properties of water. Water for rivers and lakes tends to contain less heavy isotopes than seawater. Therefore, standard water is defined in the Vienna Standard Mean Ocean Water Specification. For drinking. Main article. Drinking water. The human body contains from 55% to 78% water, depending on body size. To function properly, the body requires between 1 and 7 liters, 0.22 and 1.54 imp gal, 0.26 and 1.85 US gallon of water per day to avoid dehydration. The precise amount depends on the level of activity, temperature, humidity and other factors. Most of this is ingested through foods or beverages other than drinking straight water. It is not clear how much water intake is needed by healthy people, though the British Dietetic Association advises that 2.5 liters of total water daily is the minimum to maintain proper hydration, including 1.8 liters, 6 to 7 glasses, obtained directly from beverages. Medical literature favors a lower consumption, typically one liter of water for an average male, including excluding extra requirements due to the fluid loss from exercise or warm weather. Healthy kidneys can create excrete 0.8 to 1 liter of water per hour, but stress such as exercise can reduce this amount. People can drink far more water than necessary while exercising, putting them at risk of water intoxication. Hyperhydration, which can be fatal. The popular claim that a person should consume 8 glasses of water per day seems to have no real basis in size. Studies have shown that extra water intake, especially up to 500 mm, 18 imperial FLRs, 17 US FLRs, at mealtime was associated with weight loss. Adequate fluid intake is helpful in preventing constipation. An original recommendation for water intake in 1945 by the Food and Nutrition Board of the US National Research Council reads, an ordinary standard for diverse person is one millimeter for each calorie of food. Most of this quantity is contained in prepared foods. The latest dietary reference intake report by the US National Research Council in general recommended, based on the median total water intake from US survey data, including course food sources, 3.7 liters or 0.81 imperial gallons or 0.98 US gallons for men, and 2.7 liters, 0.59 imperial gallons, 0.71 US gallons of water total for women. 
noting that water contained in food provided approximately 90% of total water intake in the survey. Specifically, pregnant and breastfeeding women need additional fluids to stay hydrated. The Youth Institute of Medicine recommends that, on average, men consume 3 liters 0.66 imperial gallons, 0.79 U.S. gallons, and women 2.2 liters 0.48 imperial gallons, 0.58 U.S. gallons. Pregnant women should increase intake to 2.4 liters 0.53 imperial gallons or 0.63 U.S. gallons. And breastfeeding women should get 3 liters 12 cups since an especially large amount of fluid is lost during nursing. Also noted that is that normally about 20% of water intakes come from food, while the rest comes from drinking water and beverages, caffeinated included. Water is excreted from the body in multiple forms, through urine and feces, through sweating and by exhalation of water vapor in the breath. With physical exertion and heat exposure, water loss will increase and daily fluid needs may increase as well. Humans require water with few impurities. Common impurities include metal salts and oxides, including copper, iron, calcium and lead and or harmful bacteria such as Vibrio. Some solutes are acceptable and even desirable for taste enhancement to provide needed electrolytes. The single largest by volume freshwater source suitable for drinking is Lake Baikal in Siberia. Washing. This section is an excerpt from washing. Washing is a method of cleaning usually with water and soap or detergent. Washing and then rinsing both body and clothing is an essential part of good hygiene and health. Often people use soaps and detergents to assist in the emulsification of oils and dirt particles so they can be washed away. The soap can be applied directly or with the aid of a washcloth. People wash themselves or bathe periodically for religious ritual or therapeutic purposes or as a recreational activity. In Europe, some people use a bidet to wash their external genitalia and the anal region after using the toilet, instead of using toilet paper. The bidet is commonly in a predominantly Catholic countries, where water is considered essential for anal cleansing. More frequent in washing of just the hands, e.g. before and after preparing food and eating, after using the toilet, after handling something dirty, etc. Hand washing is important in reducing the spread of germs. Also common is washing the face, which is done after waking up to keep oneself cool during the day. Brushing one's teeth is also essential for hygiene and is a part of washing. Washing can also refer to the washing of clothing or other cloth items like bed cheese, whether by hand or with a washing machine. It can also refer to washing one's car by lathering the exterior of the car soap and then rinsing it off with a hose or washing cookware. Excessive washing may damage the hair, causing dandruff or cause rough skin and skin lesions. Transportation These paragraphs are an excerpt from maritime transport. Maritime transport or ocean transport, or more generally waterborne transport, is the transport of people, passengers or goods, cargo, via waterways. Freight transport by sea has been widely used throughout recorded history. The advent of aviation has diminished the importance of sea travel for passengers, though it is still possible for short trips and pleasure cruises. Transport by water is cheaper than transport by air or ground, but significantly slower for longer distances. Maritime transport accounts for roughly 80% of international trade according to UNCTAD in 2020. Maritime transport can be realized over any distance by boat, ship, sailboat or barge over oceans and lakes through canals or along rivers. Shipping may be for commerce, recreation or military purposes. While extensive inland shipping is less critical today, the major waterways of the world, including many canals, are still mm, very important and are integral parts of worldwide economies. Particularly, especially any material can be moved by water, however water transport becomes impractical when material delivery is time critical, such as various types of perishable produce. Still, water transport is highly cost effective with regular schedules cargoes, such as trans-ocean shipping of consumer products, and especially for heavy loads or bulk cargoes, 
such as coal, coke, ores, or grapes. Arguably, the Industrial Revolution and had its first impacts were cheap water transport by canal navigations or shipping by all types of watercraft on natural waterways support cost-effective bulk transport. Containerization revolutionized maritime transport starting in the 1970s. General cargo includes goods packaged in boxes, cases, pallets, and barrels. When a cargo is carried in more than one mode, it is intermodal or co. Older. Chemical uses. Water is widely used in chemical reactions as a solvent or a reactant and less commonly used as a solid or catalyst. In inorganic reactions, water is a common solvent, dissolving many ionic compounds as well as other polar compounds such as ammonia and compounds closely related to water. In organic reactions, it is not usually used as a recreation solvent because it does not dissolve directly rectants well and is amphoteric, acidic and basic, and nucleophilic. Nevertheless, these properties are sometimes desirable. Also, acceleration of diels alda reactions by water has been observed. Supercritical water has recently been a topic of research. Oxygen-saturated supercritical water combusts organic pollutants efficiently. Heat exchange Water and steam are a common fluid used for heat exchange due to its availability and high heat capacity, both for cooling and heating. Cool water may even be naturally available from the lake or the sea. It is especially effective to transport heat for vaporization and condensation of water because of its large latent heat of vaporization. A disadvantage is that metals commonly found in industries such as steel and coppers are oxidized fat faster by untreated water than steam. In almost all thermal power stations, water is used as the working fluid, used in a closed loop between boiler, steam turbine, and condenser, and the coolant used to exchange the waste heat to a water body or carry it away by evaporation or in a cooling tower. In the United States, cooling power plants is the largest use of water. In the nuclear power industry, water can also be used as a neutron moderator. In most nuclear reactors, water is both a coolant and a moderator. This provides something of a passive safety measure, as removing the water from the reactor also slows the nuclear reaction down. However, other methods are favored for stopping a reaction, and it is preferred to keep the nuclear core covered with water, so as to ensure adequate cooling. Fire considerations. Water has a high heat of vaporization and is relatively inert, which makes it good for fire extinguishing fluid. The evaporation of water carries heat away from the fire. It is dangerous to use water on fires involving oils and organic solvents because many organic materials flow down water and the water tends to spread the burning liquid. Use of water in firefighting should also take into account the hazards of a steam explosion, which may occur when water is used in very hot fires in confined spaces, and of a hydrogen explosion. When substances which react with water, such as certain metals or hot carbon, such as coal, car charcoal, or coke graphite, decompose the water, producing water gas. The power of such explosion was seen in the Chernobyl disaster. Although the water involved in this case did not come from firefighting, but from the reactor's own water cooling system. A steam explosion occurred when the extreme overheating of the core caused water to flash into steam. A hydrogen explosion may have occurred as a result of a reaction between steam and hot zirconium. Some metallic oxide, most notably those of alkali metals and alkaline earth metals, produce so much heat on reaction with water that a fire hazard can develop. The alkaline earth oxide quicklime is a mass-produced substance that is often transported in paper bags. If these are soaked though, they may ignite as their content react with water. Recreation Main article, water sport, recreation. Humans use water for many recreational purposes, as well as for exercising and for sports. And some of these include swimming, water skiing, boating, surfing, and diving. In addition, some sports like ice hockey and ice skating are played on ice. 
Lakesides, beaches and water parks are popular places for people to go to relax and enjoy. Recreation. Many find the sound and appearance of flowing water to be calming, and fountains and other flowing water structures are popular decorations. Some keep fish and other flora and fauna inside aquariums or ponds or for show and fun and companionship. Humans also use water for snow sports such as skiing, sledding, snowmobiling or snowboarding, which they require the water to be at low temperature either as ice or crystallized into snow. Water industry the water industry provides drinking water and wastewater services, including sewage treatment, to households and industry. Water supply facilitates includes water wells, cisterns for rainwater harvesting, water supply networks and water purification facilities, water tanks, water towers, water pipes, including all aqueducts, atmospheric water generators are in development. Drinking water is often collected at springs, extracting for artificial borings wells in the ground, or pumped from lakes and rivers. Building more wells in adequate places is thus a possible way to produce more water, assuming the aquifers can supply an adequate flow. Other water sources include raining water collection, water may require purification for human consumption. This may involve the removal of undissolved substances, dissolving substances, and harmful microbes. Popular methods are filtering and with sand, which only rem removes undissolved material, while chlorination and boiling kill harmful microbes. Distillation does all free function. More advanced techniques exist, such as reverse osmosis. Desalination of abundant seawater is a more expensive solution used in coastal arid climates. The distribution of drinking water is done through municipal water system, tanker delivery or as bottled water. Governments in many countries have programs to distribute water to the needy at no charge. Reducing the usage of using drinking potable water only for human consumption is another option. In some cities such as Hong Kong, seawater is extensively used for flushing toilets citywide in order to conserve freshwater sources. Polluting water may be biggest single, the biggest single misuse of water. To the extent that polluting limits other uses the water, it becomes a waste of the resource regardless of benefits to the polluter. Like any other types of pollution, this time enter standard accounting of market costs being convinced as externalities for which the market cannot account. Thus other people pay the price of water pollution, while the private firm profits are not redistributed in the local population victims of this pollution. Pharmaceuticals consumed by humans often end up in the waterways and can have a detrimental effects on aquatic life if they bioaccumulate and if they're not biodegradable. Municipal and industrial wastewater are typically treated at wastewater treatment plants. Mitigation of polluted surface runoff is addressed through a variety of prevention and treatment techniques. See surface runoff mitigation and treatment. Industrial applications. Many industrial processes rely on reactions using chemicals to soften water, suspension of solid and water slurries, or using water to dissolve and extract substances, or to wash products or process equipment. Processes such as mining, chemical pulping, pulp bleaching, paper manufacturing, textile production, dyeing, printing, and cooling of power plants use large amounts of water, requiring a dedicated water source and often cause significant water pollution. Water is used in power generation. Hydroelectricity is electricity obtained from hydropower. Hydroelectric power comes from water driving a wind water turbine connected to a generator. Hydroelectricity is a low cost, non polluting, renewable energy source. Energy is supplied by the motion of water, typically a dam constructed on a river, creating an artificial lake behind it. Water flowing out of the lake is forced through turbines that turn generators. Pressurized water is used in water blasting and water jet cutters. Also high pressure water guns are used for precise cutting. It also works re very well. It is relatively safe and is not harmful to the environment. It is also used in the cooling of machinery to prevent overheating or prevent saw blades from overheating.
Water is also used in many industrial processes and machines, such as the steam turbine or in heat exchanger. In addition to its use as a chemical solvent, discharge of untreated water from industrial uses is pollution. Pollution including discharge solutes, chemical pollution, and discharge coolant water, thermal pollution. Industry requires purer water for many applications and use of a variety of purification techniques, both on water supplies and discharge. Food processing. Boiling, steaming, and simmering are popular cooking methods that often require immersing food in water or its gaseous state steam. Water is also used for dishwashing. Water also plays many critical roles within the fields of food science. Solutes such as salts and sugars found in water affect the physical properties of water. The boiling and freezing points of water are affected by solutes, as well as air pressure, which is in turn affected by altitude. Water boils at lower temperatures with the lower air pressure that occurs at higher elevations. One mole of sucrose sugar per kilogram of water raises the boiling point of water by 0.21 Celsius, 0.918 Fahrenheit. And one mole of salt per kilogram raises the boiling point by 1.02 or 1.836 Fahrenheit. Similarly, increasing the number of dissolved particles lowers water freezing point. Solutes in water also affect water activity that affects many chemical reactions and the growth of microbes in food. Water activity can be described as a ratio of the vapor pressure of water and the solution to the water pressure of pure water. Solutes in water lower water activity. This is important to know because most bacterial growth ceases at low levels of water activity. Not only does microbial growth affect the safety of food, but also the preservation and shelf life of food. Water hardness is also a critical factor in food processing and may be altered and treated by using a chemical ion exchange system. It can dramatically affect the quality of a product as well as playing a role in sanitation. Water hardness is classified based on concentration of calcium carbonate the water contains. Water is classified as soft if it contains less than 100 mg L UK or less than 60 mg L US. According to a report published by the Water Footprint Organization in 2010, a single kilogram of beef requires 15,000 liters, 3.3 times 10 of the 3 imperial gallons or 4.0 times 10 of the 3 US gallon of water. However, the authors also make it clear that this is a global average and circumstantial factors determine the amount of water used in beef production. Medical use Water for injection is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. Distributions in nature. In the universe, much of the universe water is produced by a byproduct of star formation. The formation of stars is accompanied by a strong outward wheel of gas and dust. When this outflow of material eventually impacts the surrounding gas, the shock waves that are created compress and heat the gas. The water observed is quickly produced in this warp dense gas. On 22nd July 2011, a report describes the discovery of a gigantic cloud of water vapor containing 140 trillion times more water than all of Earth's oceans combined, around a quasar located 12 billion light years from Earth. According to the researchers, the discovery shows that water has been prevalent in the universe for nearly its entire existence. Water has been detected in interstellar clouds within the Milky Way. Water probably exists in abundance other galaxies too, because its component, components, hydrogen and oxygen, are among the most abundant elements in the universe, based on models of the formation and evolution of the solar system and that of other star systems, most other planetary systems are likely to have several gradients. Water vapor Water is present as vapor in atmosphere of the sun, in detectable trace amounts, atmosphere of mercury, 3.4%, and large amounts of water in mercury's exosphere. Atmosphere of Venus, 0.002%. Earth's atmosphere, 
yeah, 0.40% over full atmosphere, typically 1-4% to of at surface, as well as that of the moon in trace months. Atmosphere of Mars, 0.03%. Atmosphere of Ceres. Atmosphere of Jupiter, 0.0004%. In Isis only, and that of its moon Europa. Atmosphere of Saturn, in Isis only. Enceladus, 91%, and Dione Exosphere. Atmosphere of Uranus, in trace amounts below 50 bar. Atmosphere of Neptune, found in the deeper layers. Extrasolar planet atmospheres, including those of HD 189733b and HD 209458b, Tau Boletis b, Hut p 11b, XO 1b, Wasp 12b, Wasp 70b, and Wasp 19b. Stellar atmospheres. Not limited to cooler stars and even detected in giant huts are such as Betelgeuse, Musifei, Antares, and Arcturus. Circumstellar disks, including those of more than half of T Tauri stars, such as AA Tauri, as well as TW Hydrae, RFC plus 10216, and APM 08279 plus 5255. VI Canis Majoris and C Persei. Liquid water. Liquid water is present on Earth, covering 71% of its surface. Liquid water is also occasionally present in small amounts on Mars. Scientists believe liquid water is present on the Saturnian moons of Enclados, as a 10km thick ocean, approximately 30 to 40 km below Enclados of polar surface, and Titan as a subsurface layer, possibly mixed with ammonia. Jupiter's moon Europa has surface characteristics which suggest a subsurface liquid water ocean. Liquid water may also exist on Jupiter's moon Ganymede as a layer sandwich between high pressure ice and rock. Water ice. Water is present as ice on Mars under the regolith and at the poles. Earth, moon, system. Mainly as ice sheets on Earth and in lunar craters and volcanic rocks. NASA reported the detection of water molecules by NASA Moon Mineralogy Mapper aboard the Indian Space Research Organization Chandrayaan 1 spacecraft in September 2009. Ceres Jupiter's moons, Europa's surface, and also that of JD Mead and Callisto. Saturn in the planet's ring system and on the surface and mantle of Titan. And in Claudus. Pluto Charon system. Comets. Another related Kuiper belt and Oort cloud object. And is also likely present on Mercury's poles. Tethys. Exotic forms. Water and other volatiles probably comprise much of the internal structures of Uranus and Neptune. And the water in deeper layers may be in the form of ionic water in which the molecules break down into a soup of hydrogen and oxygen ions, and deeper still as superionic water, in which the oxygen crystallizes, but the hydrogen ions float about freely within the oxygen lattice. Water and planetary habitability. Further information on water distribution on Earth and planetary habitability. The existence of liquid water, and to a lesser extent its gaseous and solid forms, on Earth are vital to the existence of life on Earth, as we know it. The Earth is located in the habitable zone of the solar system. If it were slightly closer to or farther from the Sun, about 5% or 8 million kilometers, the conditions which allow the free forms to be present simultaneously will be far less likely to exist. Earth gravity allows it to hold on an atmosphere. Water, vapor, and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere provide a temperature buffer, greenhouse effect, which helps maintain a relatively steady surface temperature. If Earth were smaller, a thinner atmosphere would allow temperature extremes, thus preventing the accumulation of water except in polar ice caps, as on Mars. 
The surface temperature of Earth has been relatively constant though. Geologic time, despite very limited some of incoming solar radiation insulation, indicating that dynamic process governs Earth's temperature via combination of greenhouse gases and surface of or atmospheric albedo. The proposal known as the Gaia hypothesis. The state of water on our planet depends on ambient pressure, which is determined by the planet's gravity. If a planet is sufficiently massive, the water on it may be solid even at high temperatures, because of the high pressure caused by gravity, as it was observed on exoplanets. Gliese 436b and GJ 1214b. Law, politics, and crisis. Main articles, water law, water right, and water scarcity. Water politics is politics affected by water and water resources. Water, particularly fresh water, is a strategic resource across all the world. And an important element in many political conflicts, it causes health impacts and damage to biodiversity. Access to safe drinking water has improved over the last decades in almost every part of the world, but approximately 1 billion people still lack access to safe water, and over 2.5 billion lack access to adequate sanitation. However, some observers have estimated by that, that by 2025, more than half of the world population will be facing water-based vulnerability. A report issued in November 2009 suggests that by 2030, in some developing regions in the world, water demand will exceed supply by 50%. 1.6 billion people have gained access to, to a safe water resource since 1990. The proportion of people in developing countries with access to safe water is calculated to have improved from 30% in 1970. 71% in 1990, 79% in 2000, and 84% in 2004. A 2006 United Nations report stated that there is enough water for everyone, but the access to it is hampered by mismanagement and corruption. In addition, global initiatives to improve the efficiency of aid delivery, such as Paris Declaration on Aid Effectiveness, have not been taken up by water sector donors as effectively as they have in education and health potentially leaving multiple donors working on overlapping projects and recipient governments without empowerment to act. The authors of the 2007 Comprehensive Assessment of Water Management in Agriculture cited poor governance as one reason for some forms of water scarcity. Water governance is set of formal and informal processes though, which decisions related to water management are made. Good water governance is primarily about knowing what processes work best in a particular physical and socio-economic context. Mistakes have sometimes been made by trying to apply blueprints that work in the developed world to developing world locations and contexts. The Mekong River is one example. A review by the International Water Management Institute of Polities in six countries that rely on the Mekong River for water found that through and transparent costs benefit analyzes the environmental impact assessments were rarely undertaken. They also discovered that Cambodia's draft water law yeah, was much more complex than it needed to be. The UN World Water Development Report WWDR 2003 from the World Water Assessment Program indicates that in the next 20 years the quantity of water available to everyone is predicted to decrease by 30%. 40% of the world's inhabitants currently have insufficient fresh water from minimal hygiene. More than 2.2 million people died in 2000 for waterborne diseases related to the conception of contaminated water or drought. In 2004, the UK charity WaterAid reported that a child dies every 15 seconds from easily preventable water-related diseases. Often, this means lack of sewage disposal. Organizations concerned with water protection include International Water Association, IWA, WaterAid, Water First, and the American Water Resources Association. The International Water Management Institute undertakes projects with the aim of using effective water management to reduce poverty. Water-related conventions are United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification UNCCD, International Convention for the Prevention of Pollutions from Ships, United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, and Ramsar Convention. World Day for Water takes place on the 22nd of March and World Oceans Day on 8th 
June. In culture, religion, main article, water and religion. See also sacred waters. Water is considered a purifier in most religions. Faith and incorporate ritual washing, ablution, include Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, the Rastafari movement, Shinto, Taoism, and Vika. Immersion or aspersion or a fusion of a person and water is a central segment of Christianity, where it is called baptism. It's also a part of the practice of other religions, including Islam, Gusul, Judaism, Mikvah, and Sikhism, Amrit Sanskar. In addition, a ritual bath in pure water is performed for the dead in many religions, including Islam and Judaism. In Islam, the five daily prayers can be done in most cases after washing certain parts of the body using clean water, wudu, unless water is unavailable. See Tayammum. In Shinto, water is used in almost all rituals to cleanse a person or an area, e.g. the ritual of Misogi. In Christianity, holy water is water that has been sanctified by a priest for the purpose of baptism. The blessing of persons, places, and objects or as a means of repenting evil. In Zoroastrianism, water is respected as the source of life. Philosophy The ancient Greek philosopher Empedocles saw water as one of the four classic elements, along with fire, earth, and air, and regarded it as an yum, or basic substance of the universe. Tales, whom are subtly portrayed as an astronomer and an engineer, theorize that the earth, which is denser than water, emerged from the water. Tales, a monist, believed further that all things are made from water. Plato believed that the shape of water is an icosahedron, following easily compared to the cube-shaped earth. The theory of the four bodily humors associated with water with Thulan as being cold and moist, the classical element of water was also one of the five elements in traditional Chinese philosophy, along with earth, fire, wood, and metal. Some traditional and popular Asian philosophical systems take water as a role model. James Legg's 1991 translation of the Tao Te Ching states, The highest excellence is like that of water. The excellence of water appears in its benefiting of all things, and it is occupied without striving to the contrary. The low place which all men dislike, hence its way is near to that of the Tao. And there is nothing in the world more soft and weak than water, and yet for attacking things that are firm and strong here is nothing that can take precedence of it, for there is nothing so effectual for which it can be changed. Guanzi in Shridi chapter further elaborates on the symbolism of water, proclaiming that man is water, and attributing natural qualities of the people of different Chinese regions to the character of local water resources. Folklore Living water features in Germanic and Slavic folk tales as a means of bringing the dead back to life. Note the grim fairy tale, the water of life, and the Russian de the dichotomy of living and dead water. The fountain of youth represents a related concept of magical waters, allegedly preventing aging. Art and activism. Painter and activist Frederica Foster curated the value of water at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in New York City, which anchored a year long initiative by the Cathedral on our dependence on water. The largest exhibition to ever appear at the Cathedral. It featured over 40 artists, including Jenny Holzer, Robert Longo, Mark Rothko, William Kentridge, April Garner, Kiki Smith, Art Stair, William Kentridge, Alice Delton Brown, Teresa Fernandez, and Bill Viola. Foster created Think About Water, an ecological collective of artists who use water as their subject or medium. Members include Basia, Ireland. Aviva Ramani, Betsy Damon, Diane Burko, Leila Ta, Stacey Levy, Charlotte Coat, Muriel Rubenstein, Stacey Levy, Anna McLeod, and Aviva Raman. 
To mark the 10th anniversary of accident to water and sanitation being declared by a uh, human rights by the UN, the charity Water Aid commissioned 10 visual artists to show the impact of clean waters on people's lives. Dihydrogen monoxide parody. Dihydrogen monoxide parody main article. Water is technically correct but rarely used chemical name. Dihydrogen monoxide has been used in a series of hoaxes and pranks that mock scientific illiteracy. This began in 1983 when an April Fool's Day article appeared in a newspaper in Durand, Michigan. The false story consisted of safety concerns about the substance.